but I'm gonna start the VOD anyway. Um, Alright. Hello and welcome to levelupagame.net. I'm Zoo, and I'm not disputing war, but I'm bringing you some TDM, so France versus Russia, quarterfinals, clan based Nations Cup, and we're about to get underway, uh, under underway in uh, map one. I believe this is Russia's pick, DM20. From what I've seen in the past on some streams, they're very strong here. Um, so I guess we're going to see some interesting play, but. The team, the player list is uh, for Russia is Alteza, 41, Pavel, and Alexa. In France, we've got Wins, Gizmo, CRV, and Lincoln. So, uh, honestly, I'm not entirely sure what to expect from this game because, well, if it was CTF, I'd have an idea, but TDM today, and we're going to see some bang quadrant quadrants. And I can't wait to see that. T uh, Pit and Forge is probably one of my favourite uh, TDM maps also, just because of its pure aggression, fast-paced um, everythingness. Impressive. So, uh, I don't know what key players to watch for. I guess Lincoln uh, we're going to be checking out quite a lot. I'm looking forward to see Pavel on the radar too. And uh, I'll do my best to cover every uh, nail-biting point. So please don't shout at me if I'm specking the wrong person, but I'm basically going to try to find people who are stacked and people who have lightning guns, rails, and grenade launchers. Wait, maybe not. But we are going live now, and I'm going to pick a player to start on. It's going to be Alteza, uh, just as he watches winds go behind him. And that is, uh, well, winds getting a quick spawn to LG and yellow. And Alteza currently just running around, enjoying uh, eating dust right now. And it seems, well, I was going to say I, I was on a good person there, but Lexa just losing all of his red stack to a bit of railgun. And as we start building up for the first power up, players are going to want to start setting up up there. It is between the 30 second and 59 second mark. Nice couple of rockets there by Lincoln, but he's not going to be healthy for it. And Lexa grabbing it with a starting stack, no weapons. I guess he was the strongest player. And wow, what a, a strange weapon switch. I mean, if he didn't switch, he probably would have got the chance to fire two shotgun blasts. But alas, he didn't and uh, went down to wins. But France on a strong start at the moment. So the spawns have been with them and the weapons as well. Not really sure how decisive it is at, at the beginning, but. They've definitely made use of it, and already Russia is kind of clawing its way back. And nicely played by Pavel, actually winning back the Mega before Frenchy came back and stole it. So fairly close, not too dominant from either teams at the moment, but you can tell that uh, Russia is starting to move around a lot more freely. Uh, once again, with some excellent plasma up those that staircase, so easy just to fire off at people. Gotta be so careful. And I think we'll st hang around the winds just a little bit longer. Mega is up in a second, and it looks like he's gonna be stacking himself up even harder. And uh, hopefully, he's gonna find that some people and frag. He doesn't really want to lose out on that uh, mega health stack he's got. If he runs into a rail carrier, then it'd be bad. Is that his team? I don't know uh, entirely who shot him there. <laughs> and the pummel Alteza almost humiliating him, but might take him down a DMG. He is going to get out of there just about. And 20 seconds until quad. I'm going to flick around and see if there's someone a bit more stacked. And Lincoln getting a frag there. But I'm going to see if there's anyone. Seems like everyone has nothing at, at all on them. Two people just spawning in front of Pavel there. And with just over five seconds to go, Pavel might be able to get there in time. He's going to have to rush, but it looks like he's a bit slow. And Lincoln's actually going to get the second quad of the map. And uh, with it, uh, already a, a ten frag difference uh, once again, this could be a good sign for France. But it is still as early stages, so obviously nothing completely decided just yet. 
struggling to get frags at the moment. Less than 10 seconds left. There's one nice rail just not connecting with the next one. It's like, oh, <laughs> the plasma is going to take him down. So, I mean, that's, that's the second quad run that's been kind of uh, you know, passively played. I mean, the first one was knocked out so soon it didn't really have a chance. But Lincoln, not, no opportunity there to really get the frags he wanted. Probably to do with uh, not feeling so confident without any armor. And uh, Russia during that quad run actually seemed to have got back into this game even nicer. Definitely hanging around on the right side of the map. And all those players there fighting for that LG still on the spot. In fact, no one's going to pick it up. And I don't know who's going to get it in the end. 41 there uh, wins actually getting it. 41 there just hanging around waiting for a rocket. Going to move around and see who picked up that red. If they even still have any of it, I guess there's Lincoln, but Lincoln with nothing at the moment. I don't know how he survived that little encounter. He might as well. Uh, it's nice 25 bubbles. Could say he should palm off a weapon, but. No need to, really. Although he did. Nice shotgun play there, and right in time for the next uh, red armor. No 50 health bubble up for him. Gonna have to sneak around a little bit. That gizmo is gonna be the. Oh, and really well palmed off because he did just go down seconds later. But Russia is getting into this. France not getting away easily. And the next quad is up in five seconds. Altez are in a good position, good position but Gizmo running past. <laughs> and there's that uh, quad pummel there. Nice by Altez. And just missing out on red though, so don't know who took it. It could have been France. That would have been a good steal. And he's going to be waiting there for a long time. He might as well just go around and get some frags. Get some teammates to support him. Lincoln going to go down. And he's still hanging around. He's, he's No Russian player has a timing on it. And by the time he picks it up, he's going to have no quad left. So, And there it is. It's come up and he's run away. Oh. At least he got another frag. But I think the, since he had waited so long, he might as well have just stayed there. Kind of kind of strange play there by the quad carrier. And an air gauntlet there onto Gizmo. Wow. I'm going to flick around again to some uh, Lincoln here with a, a bit of an arm stack going. Anyway, as much as you can get, really, half the time on a hidden fortress. And that's there, avoiding a rail shot. And once again, there we go. Even more stack now, and still with a decent armor stack, but Altez are hitting two really nice rails there. That's not going to make a Lincoln so threatening anymore. And again, hanging around for the health bubbles and uh, items. Lincoln doesn't want to go through a teleporter without it. And he's going to be careful. Oh, I'm taking a rail shot there. Nasty piece of work by the Russian. And four health does eventually go down. So I, I don't know if we're waiting for the health bubble there was the best option. He Maybe he could have been supporting his teammates at the same time. But there might be method to his madness. It is Lincoln after all. And I hang on to Altaza here. Trying to secure this LG area. Actually going to let his friend get the lightning. And uh, they're actually going to be able to get through to this uh, red. But Altaza losing out of position there. As his teammate went down in front of him. Teams are pretty close though. In terms of score, shall I say, and Kismo actually with some armor, no one really there. His teammates are uh, stretched around, clearing it away, and now Kismo pretty much got some great weapons to uh, help him out on this squad run. Just needs an LG, and he's going to be really in great shape. Nice rail, LG in front of him, but too far away. Just spend his time getting a few points on the board. Nice rail there, okay, four frags here. Can he pick up a couple more just to fall the next pummel? Best run we've seen so far this map. And Gizmo is still hitting loads of shots, doing tons of damage. And all the weapons he has, eventually they take him down. But you know, Russia has actually got the lead now. So, a very, very strange turn of events. France gets a quad, Russia takes the lead. So, they're definitely uh, avoiding the quad nicely, even though he did get several frags. They definitely did their work shall we say. And Lexa now trying to do some work also. He's got an LG and a rail. And they're trying not to damage his teammate too much. Got to be careful. The LG's there and Lincoln's right above. Impressive. But he is going to pick up uh, another frag. Let's have a look at Lexa's uh, accuracies. 
32 LG, 39 rail. Not, not too bad. Could hope for more though. I'm gonna flick around. CRV with a stack, no weapons though. <laughs> Alte is, uh, is gonna change that for him. And remember, this is the Russian's map, Russia's map pick, so one would expect them to be slightly stronger here. And France definitely wants to pick this one up because it will give them a massive advantage. And just 10 seconds before quad, CRV is starting to prepare for it. Getting his teammates around. And France have been noticeably more early than Russia, but actually on this time, Russia might have got themselves the quad, and Pavel actually with a monster stack, he might pick up a couple more frags. Wow, great play there by the dueler. And get five frags, and there's only a third of the quad run so far. No point hanging around for that red armor. He's got plenty of ammunition to pick up more points on the board and extend that lead that Russia has at the moment. Five seconds left. Lincoln's going to go down just before red. Pavel keeping his stack. Great run there by Pavel. And he is going to well, come to the end, uh, end of his stack spree. Run out of ammo on uh, most of his uh, powerful weapons. But keeping a, a, a good grip on the area at the moment. See how he's going to go down from him. Pavel's going to get it. But there is a mega available. If he knows, is that he needs to defend it. I think he should have just backed off, but Lincoln scared him away. And you know, France doesn't want to let this lead to extend any further, or it's going to get more and more uh, stressful to, to take it back. And three Russians there waiting around red. They definitely want to take it, and they do want to keep control of it. I'm going to flick around a bit more. See how it was actually a nice arm back there. And uh, LG in his hands too, we have passed the halfway point. And uh, France you know, responded uh, to my request already. The score seems to be uh, escalating rapidly. 41 of that Mega. Can he do any damage onto them? Maybe not too easily, that red is gone, so players won't be sort of cluttered around it so much. And uh, with a couple of seconds until quad, 41 in really great shape for it. Need oh, I saw that coming, and the LG just disappeared in front. I think his teammate possibly should have dropped that weapon beforehand. Lincoln almost eliminating the quad player. Oh, and I think CRB is going to finish the job off. That rail really starting the death of the quad carrier. And, and it, you know, the scores are, are fluctu fluctuating massively. I mean, at the beginning, France was ahead by 10 to 15 frags. And then they were tied for a few moments, and then uh, it was 20 to 30 point advantage for Russia. And now France clawing their way back. Pavel wants to secure this mega, but I don't think he's going to be able to. He hasn't got enough uh, firing power for that. And now wins. Haven't actually seen much of him this, this game. He's only hitting 100% rail, you know. Nothing too much. And 50% LG. I guess that's okay, you know, marginal accuracies. And 41 is going to go down in front of him. I'm curious to see how many uh, rail shots has he actually fired. And still a while until the next quad. He wants to try and build up his stack. I mean, his aim's looking good. I think we should be allowed to see a wins quad run soon. His teammates can take that mega in front of him. Good timing. By the French players keeping an eye on the items. And Wynn's just scouting around and it's awfully peaceful up here. I want to I keep an eye on him a little bit more just because his accuracy is pretty impressive at the moment. And it is coming up to that quad time. Pavel almost cratering there in front of him. Nice damage still by Wynn's. I'm going to have a look at <laughs> Rocket on that rail behind him. Wins might be thinking twice now about taking the quad. And he's got to be careful. Wins should back off here because the rail's dangerous, but he takes them both out. And Wins is going to get it. Uh, just making sure he doesn't frag here. Link and his teammate. And just taking random bits of damage constantly. But I should be able to get a couple of frags here. 
Five seconds until red. And nice that he didn't decide to hang around. There's another player next, but he might be able to get away. Or not. Uh, without having a huge starting stack, Wynn's actually done pretty well, I think, on this run, getting himself a fifth, sixth frag, and that's going to tie the scores up. And he's actually going to pump up his weapons like 4 HP. I might as well get all rid of all this and give it to my teammates. <laughs> and I don't think he even dropped it, so very good. Dalte's on a small amount of HP, honestly. Who picked up that, uh... <laughs> and a bit of a pummel going on. CRV with the red stack. He's also hitting pretty uh, astonishing accuracies there. <laughs> who on earth was that just rocketing themselves in the face for a self frag? Oh, and if he didn't have, if he had more LG, that would have been so much more effective. It looks like France are currently in control of the map. Doing pretty well now, and the score's kind of on balance once again. And the items are kind of being split as well, fairly evenly between both teams. No one really getting away with it so far. Wins getting a couple of really nice survives. Can he take out? Pavel's going to finish him. And just over five minutes to go. We're approaching it at the next quad. I'm going to have a look. Lincoln getting a nice rail. Let's hang around on him with 15 seconds to go. He's got himself an LG and now he needs to battle his way over to quad. And he wants to keep the stack. He, he sh I don't think he should really engage here. He wants to save his stack for the quad damage that's going to appear just now. Oh. Interesting weapon choice there. Did lose a bit of health. I think he should have maybe kept LG out and off the spawn. 41's going to go down. Get a couple of nice rails in, or does he even need to? Yes, he can though. Nice frags, five frags on this run, ten seconds left. Lex is gonna go down in front of him. <laughs> I was gonna suggest he rocket jumps, but no, that might be a bad idea. And with a bit of damage behind him, 41 gonna survive to see another red. And 15 frags up, France are. And five minutes left, this is just about enough time, I think for Russia to see themselves get back into this. But France really need to hold them off, keep a con keep control on that red and the uh, yellow area. I want to have a look at the damages and everything, but so far there's not really been a quiet point. And I shouldn't be surprised about that because this is Hidden Fortress after all. after all. Lincoln topping the damage board at the moment. Wins are not far behind him on his team. Good, good positive net there. Oh, and Pavel getting himself a uh, pummel kill. And getting himself on the Mega, more importantly. I just can't get away from that. Let me see if I can check out the Russians. Russia statistics. Yeah, 41, not great uh, net at the moment, but Pavel playing decently, getting good damage. And so is uh, Alteza, in fact. If I'm pronouncing that correctly. But over the last minute, France seems to be keeping good hold of it at the moment. And Russia may be uh, finding it difficult to get control over that LG and that red uh, armor. But Pavel does get the next LG, so this could be looking better for them. But five seconds until next quarter, I imagine France is going to get hold of it. Lexa going to be there too late to... Oh, but uh, nice rail there. Going to stop that quad run, and that's exactly what they needed. Wow, and so many French players. Russia just did not know what to do with themselves there. But they are starting to do uh, better now. And that's it. Trying to hit with that plasma, but not really succeeding. CRV's going to go down. Pavel, time to shine. Can you get this frag before getting MG'd? Three health left. And he is just about going to survive. And a, and a mega as well. He can definitely feel a bit more relieved after that. And I think we're going to see one more quad before the time runs out. And that is going to be, you know, Russia needs to get in on this, otherwise there's going to be a lot of pressure on them in the second map. Which is going to be a dreadful place, uh, France's pick. And they are getting themselves in on the red, so items are going their way at the moment. But Pavel challenging some difficult fights. CRV's like, oh, there's an LG. 
But he's not gonna go back for the Mega. It disappeared. Did Pavel get that again? I don't really know what happened there. I'm gonna switch around a little bit more. 41 with a little bit of armor. Got it. But that um, rail kind of crippled him at the beginning. And now the French players are going to get hold of that red armor. Now the minute and a half to go. Pressure is mounting. Oh, <laughs> and Pavel not succumbing to it. Going to keep getting those nice frags. And 60% rail he's sitting at the moment with a 35 LG. That's pretty decent. And Lincoln going to go down in front of him 10 seconds before quad. Russia needs to make, Russian players need to make sure they get a hold of this. And Pavel with 5 seconds until quad, he's not in good shape anymore. I think he maybe should have run through, just gone through a teleporter and got that ASAP. And now Gizmo is going to get this, and this could be really bad for the Russian players. If he can pick up just a couple of frags, or even just not die then, I mean he's going to be in great shape to carry his French team forward to victory on map number 1. Yeah, 22 frag difference. It looks like it's not going to be possible for the Russian players to make it back. Yeah, and Gizmo clearing up a lot in the last few moments of quad. And, uh, yeah. It looks like uh, frag difference is escalating now. I think the Russian players realise, well, you know, it is over. Let's focus our minds on what we're going to do on Dreadful. Place. And they're going to try their best to win that. Uh, hopefully they've been uh, practicing it as well as a team. We will to see some good action there. Well, this is the quarter-finals, so I'm guessing uh, France wins map number two then. Russia's going to say goodbye to us. And there we are, end of the game, 11k damage for Lincoln. And yeah, the negative 41 really suffered. I mean, he got nice damage, but just got fragged so frequently that you know it didn't help him out. And if Quick would stop lagging, that'd be excellent. We yeah, have France really getting a lot more qu uh, well, more quads there, and I think Russia didn't put enough pressure on the early quads. Even though they're doing well early on in the game, if they got those quad damages as well, it would have been a big difference in uh, scores, I believe. But I'm gonna.